Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to have a look at the restrictions that are uh, there for the operator overloading in C++. So the first thing is you cannot alter the precedence of an operator. So when you overload the operator, you can't alter the precedence. For example, let's say we, if we have the plus and uh, multiplication operator you know this multiplication operator has the higher precedence than this plus operator so by overloading this operator you can't change the precedence and the next thing is you cannot change the number of operands that an operator takes for example you know a unary operator works on only one operand so you can't alter that or make it to work on two operands but in case if your operator is working on the two or more operand at that time if you want to ignore any operand you guys can do that and the next thing is except for the function call operator which we have learned you know any of other operators can have default parameters so only in the function call operator you know which is denoted by this opening and closing parenthesis you guys can have the default parameters and the next thing is we can't overload some operators in C++. For example, the question mark operator and then the scope resolution operator and then the dot and star operator and then the dot operator. So we can't overload these operators in our programs. And the next thing is, you know, except for the equal to operator, operator functions are inherited by any derived class if you have overloaded any operator in the base class and if you use inheritance you know the derived class is also gonna inherit the overloaded operator so if you want to change the meaning or if you want to overload that operator again in the derived class you guys can do that so except for the equal to operator you know all other operators all other operator functions are inherited by the derived classes and the next thing is you know you guys can do whatever you want inside the operator function but make sure that when you write the operator functions or or when you overload the operators you know the meaning of that operator will not be changed because you know, if you distribute your code to some other developers you know at that time you know they may get confused with you know the working of your code so that type of problem may arise so so be sure that uh, you know while uh, overloading the operators you know the actual meaning of that operators is not disturbed so this is it guys this is about some restrictions or you know some important things that we should know while doing the operator overloading in c++ so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial